the 1976 Bicentennial Quarter is more than just a piece of currency, it is a tangible connection to a pivotal moment in American history. Its unique design, historical significance, and varying levels of rarity make it a cherished item for collectors. Whether you have a circulated quarter or a pristine silver proof, understanding the value and history of the 1976 Bicentennial Quarter enhances its significance and ensures its proper preservation for future generations. As America continues to celebrate its rich history, the Bicentennial Quarter stands as a timeless reminder of the nation's journey toward independence and its enduring legacy. The 1976 Bicentennial Quarter is a significant coin in American numismatic history, commemorating the 200th anniversary of the United States' independence. While the standard 1976 Bicentennial Quarters are quite common, there is a rare variant that has garnered much attention, the 1976-era quarter with no mint mark. This detailed exploration covers the history, characteristics, and value of this intriguing coin. Historical Background The United States Bicentennial Celebration in 1976 was a monumental event, marking 200 years since the signing of the Declaration of Independence. In honor of this occasion, the U.S. Mint released special bicentennial coinage, including the quarter, half-dollar, and dollar coins. These coins featured unique designs and were struck for two years, 1975 and 1976, bearing the dual date 1776 to 1976. The bicentennial quarter was distinct in its design. The obverse side retained the familiar portrait of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan. However, the reverse side featured a unique design by Jack L. A. H. R., depicting a colonial drummer with a victory torch encircled by 13 stars, representing the original colonies. This design was selected through a national competition and aimed to encapsulate the spirit of the American Revolution. The no mint mark error, most bicentennial quarters bear a mint mark indicating their place of production. The Philadelphia mint quarters are typically marked with a P, the Denver mint quarters with a D, and the San Francisco mint quarters with an S. However, a small number of bicentennial quarters were mistakenly struck without any mint mark, a rarity that has fascinated collectors. The absence of a mint mark usually points to production at the Philadelphia mint, as quarters minted there before 1980 did not carry a mint mark. However, the no mint mark era quarters from 1976 are unusual because they were expected to have the distinguishing mark for the bicentennial edition. Characteristics of the era coin, to identify a genuine 1976 era no mint mark bicentennial quarter, collectors should look for the following characteristics, dual date, the coin should feature the 1776 to 1976 date on the obverse. Colonial drummer design, the reverse should display the iconic colonial drummer with the 13 stars. Absence of mint mark, there should be no mint mark present, particularly no P, D, or S. The lack of a mint mark is the defining feature and must be authenticated by a reputable coin grading service to ensure its legitimacy. Research, thorough research on the coin's history, characteristics, and market trends is essential. Understanding the nuances of the 1976 era no mint mark bicentennial quarter can help make informed decisions. Condition and grading, Focus on acquiring coins in the best possible condition. Professionally graded coins from PCGS or NGC provide assurance of authenticity and quality, often translating to higher resale value. Reputable dealers, purchase coins from reputable dealers or auctions to ensure authenticity. Beware of counterfeits or altered coins, which can deceive even experienced collectors. Storage and care, proper storage and care of the coin are vital to maintain its condition and value. Use protective holders or cases, and store coins in a cool, dry environment to prevent damage. Market trends, stay informed about market trends and collector demand. Prices can fluctuate, so understanding the current market can help in making timely buying or selling decisions. The Bicentennial Legacy, the 1976 era and no mint mark Bicentennial Quarter is more than just a numismatic curiosity, it is a piece of American history. The Bicentennial Celebration was a defining moment, reflecting the nation's pride and heritage. The commemorative coinage, including the quarter, serves as a tangible reminder of that period. For many collectors, the appeal of the Bicentennial Quarter extends beyond its monetary value. It represents a connection to the past and a celebration of American independence and spirit. The No Mint Mark Error variant, with its unique story and rarity, adds an extra layer of intrigue and desirability. 
Conclusion, the 1976 error in no mint mark bicentennial quarter is a fascinating coin with a rich history and significant value in the numismatic world. Its rarity and the story behind its production make it a prized possession for collectors and investors alike. Whether viewed as a historical artifact or a valuable asset, this error coin exemplifies the allure and excitement of coin collecting. As the market for rare and unique coins continues to grow, the 1976 error in no mint mark bicentennial quarter stands out as a notable and cherished piece of American numismatic history. The 1976 bicentennial quarter is one of the most iconic and celebrated coins in American numismatic history. Commemorating the 200th anniversary of the United States independence, this special edition quarter is cherished by collectors and history enthusiasts alike. In this comprehensive exploration, we will delve into the history, design, minting process, and current value of the 1976 Bicentennial Quarter, providing a thorough understanding of its significance and appeal. Production and discovery, the exact number of error no mint mark Bicentennial Quarters produced is unknown, contributing to their rarity and allure. These coins were likely the result of a minting oversight, where planchets intended for Philadelphia mint production were mistakenly struck without the P mint mark. Over the years, these error coins have been discovered sporadically, often turning up in circulation or within collections, much to the surprise and delight of their finders. Their scarcity has made them highly sought after in the numismatic community. Market value, the value of the 1976 error no mint mark by Centennial Quarter can vary significantly based on its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. Here is a breakdown of the factors influencing its market value, condition, as with all coins, condition plays a crucial role in determining value. Coins are graded on a scale from poor, P1, to perfect uncirculated, MS, 70. Higher grade coins, particularly those in mint state condition, command higher prices. A no mint mark bicentennial quarter in mint state, MS, 60 to MS, 70, can fetch a premium price, sometimes several hundred dollars or more. Authentication, Due to the rarity and value of this error coin, authentication by a reputable grading service like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, is essential. An authenticated coin ensures buyers of its legitimacy and can significantly increase its market value. Demand, the demand for bicentennial quarters, especially error variants, remains strong among collectors. Their historical significance and unique design contribute to their desirability. As such, prices can fluctuate based on collector interest and market trends. Rarity, the no mint mark error is one of the rarer variants of the bicentennial quarter. Its rarity, coupled with the iconic nature of the bicentennial coinage, drives its value higher than standard issues. In general, a circulated 1976 error no mint mark bicentennial quarter may sell for around $100 to $500, depending on condition. Uncirculated examples, especially those graded by PCGS or NGC, can range from $500 to over $3,000, with exceptionally high-grade specimens potentially commanding even more. Collecting and investing, for collectors and investors, the 1976 error in no mint mark by Centennial Quarter offers an appealing blend of historical significance, rarity, and potential for appreciation. When collecting or investing in these coins, consider the following tips.